Welcome to Coffee Commerce. My name is Sean Ramit, and I'm the grandson of a coffee farmer from Guyana. On Coffee Commerce, we talk about the stories behind coffee, and we've been talking about Lloyd's Coffee House. Most coffee houses that were discussed so far were specialized in things such as science, education, uh, even courts, and even Latin. Coffee houses were public forums of ideas and debate. But Edward Lloyd would focus on the marine merchants when he moved to Lombard Street. The merchants were attracted to Edward Lloyd and to his coffee shop. And Edward Lloyd would be bent, would bend over backwards to ensure that the marine merchants could conduct business efficiently in an atmosphere that was conducive to making deals, building relationships, in part because of the information that Lloyd's had provided to his patrons. Marine merchants had a few things in common. Their business was high risk, very dangerous, but also quite rewarding. All merchants had stories of great profit, but also great losses. Out of the evolving clientele came Lloyd's List. This remains London's second longest continual running publication. Lloyd's List developed from the need for shipping news, intelligence, and analytics. Lloyd's became a place where you, you could go to hear the, the shipping news first. In fact, he had a bell. One, one uh, ring of the bell meant bad news. Two rings was good news. It was also the place for intelligence sharing. This included things such as areas where pirates would, had, had frequented, weather patterns, updates on ship travel, when ships were leaving ports and if they were delayed getting back. This type of news and intelligence was paramount to merchants conducting business. Business owners used the information from Lloyd's to help them make educated decisions about their business ventures. Alongside having good information about the world of shipping and commerce, grew the need to have better education about the ships of the day themselves. From this, Lloyd's Register was born, from the Lloyd's Coffee House. This was a time when ships were going further and traveling for longer than they had ever before. This was due to the expanding colonies, expanding trade routes of that day. This meant traveling in, in routes that were not well traveled. This made journeys more risky and dangerous. Cargo was always at jeopardy of not making it, and many sailors lost their lives on their journeys. At Lloyd's Coffee House, the marine merchants' business started to ask themselves some questions, which would emerge into a new business. Why didn't we check the vessels for seaworthiness to make sure they were safe for travel and to carry cargo? Thus, Lloyd's Register was born. Lloyd's Register kept a register of all merchant vessels. This became so important and successful that eventually Lloyd's Register would move to a new office. From this, in 1760, the Society for the Registry of Ships was established. Lloyd's Register still operates today, not just for British ships, but for international marine vessels as well. Lloyd's List and Lloyd's Register would play an important role in reducing the risk of difficult marine business. They would also play an important role in another business venture, very important out of Lloyd's Coffee Shop. But that's another story for another cup of coffee. Thank you.